Now, K-Gun 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist Aaron Brackett. Got about three hours left of a red flag warning across the area. That does include the Tucson metro points off to the south and the east. But that means that our winds still could stay with us through the early part of the evening hours. We'll watch that. But the good news is they're going to decline as we go forward. 25 mile per hour gusts right now in Tucson, 30 in Sierra Vista, 33 miles per hour in Douglas. So the heavier winds are off toward the south near the border and off to the north and northern Cochise County. We're noticing it too. As far as peak wind gusts have been concerned, well, the highest we've seen all day is 38 at uh, Bisbee International, Patagonia, not far behind, 34 mile per hour gusts there, 33 in Fort Huachuca. So really, the situation wasn't as bad it has, as it has been earlier this year, but still you combine the winds with the low humidity and you get that fire danger. So right now it's 92 at Tucson International Airport. We see a dew point of just 12. That's the dryness there that the National Weather Service is keying in on. A steady wind of 14 miles per hour, though, out of the southwest is being noted. And as we look forward now toward the monsoon, the Climate Prediction Center has put out their outlook expecting drier than normal conditions toward New Mexico, maybe extreme southeastern Arizona. But uh, really the thinking on this is that the soil is so dry here, the drought is so extreme that that'll actually take fuel from these thunderstorms later on and make them less likely here though around the Tucson area Sierra Vista the rest of southern Arizona we're looking at normal rainfall chances as far as temperatures expected to be warmer than average and we're going to get to that warmer weather actually here in the next couple days the Midwest very active again several tornado warnings in effect now for portions of Nebraska toward the uh, panhandle off toward the west right there with that storm complex also in eastern Kansas we're seeing some active tornado warnings tonight but for us, we're mostly quiet. We did have some of those high level clouds that have moved largely off toward the east. You can see a pretty big area of dry air coming in now, and this will keep our skies mostly clear as we go through the first portion of the evening hours tonight. Temperatures right now 88 in Wilcox, 82 Sierra Vista. Those clouds helping things stay a little bit cooler in those locations, and Futurecast pulls them out as well. As we go into the early morning hours and for your morning commute tomorrow, you're going to need the sunglasses. There'll be quite a bit of sunshine out there. Your forecast for tonight takes things down to 57 in Wilcox and Sierra Vista. Mid 50s in Douglas and staying warm up to the north in Phoenix. Lower 70s for you in the higher elevations. 55 in Bisbee, lower deserts generally in the low to middle 60s. And that's what we'll see here in Tucson tonight. Breezy early on. You see those southerly winds at 15 to 25. Then those will start to taper off a little bit. As we look toward tomorrow, the wind not really that big of a factor. 10 to 15 miles per hour, 95 degrees. And really, this is one of our last relatively cool days. Feel weird saying 95 is cool, but you will see what I mean once I show you the seven day. 90 in Wilcox, 88 Sierra Vista, your high temperature for tomorrow. We head to 91 in Nogales and mid 80s for you in Bisbee. I want to show you the seven day forecast. Now we are going to go for 100 and in a big way. Look at this 101 Saturday, 103 on Sunday. These temperatures continue as we start out next work week with lower 100s both Monday and Tuesday as well. Guy? All right, we have break.